Melissa here, and welcome back to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul, formerly Kitty's Bling Bling. I have a um, three-store Dollar Tree haul, and then at the very end I have um, some items that my husband got me from Five and Below, okay? So, let's start. These are in no particular order. I've just got the bags up here. Some breakables. I ended up getting two of these crackle uh, jar candle votives. And um, I was going to use these for a DIY, but I ended up finding um, what I needed anyway, so um, I will show you that. But aren't these really pretty? They're very heavy. Set those over there. Okay. I ended up getting um, this Gummy Factory Original Gummy Fun Mix Soda Pop Party. I love gummies. They're not very good for me to eat, so I try to not go overboard. But I got these one other time before, and I really, really liked these. I ended up finding, again, the Power Stick... Um, Pure sulfate free color protection. This is for uh, Ultra Blonde Revive Shampoo. This removes brassiness and neutralizes brassiness anti-fade anti shield. When My hair is gray right now, but when I do the blonde, I do um, resort to the purple shampoos to get the brassiness out. So um, I bought one of these. I usually buy a different brand. And I found this uh, at the Dollar Tree like a month or so ago when I bought one, and I really liked it, so I bought another one. I've seen people haul these. I got this Aromatherapy um, April Relax Refreshing Mint Eucalyptus Body Wash and Foaming Wash. It's a 14-ounce bottle. It doesn't smell bad at all. Kind of reminds me, I don't really smell a lot of eucalyptus, and I used to sell Avon many, 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 many years ago, and it sort of reminds me of um, one of their bubble baths. I don't remember which fragrance, but that's what that reminds me of. Um, I've been having some uh, breakouts on my face. Uh, I think it's because um, I've been, you know, touching my face a lot and getting it oily because I have oily skin. And uh, so it's a little broke out right now. So I did find some deep pore cho charcoal acne scrub. Helps clear acne blemishes. So I bought this. I know I've seen other people... Um, getting these, and I thought this would, now that I did find them, the detailing scissors, I thought this would be a good thing to have in my crafting box, so got that. Sorry about me trying to find where the camera is. Okay, now this is what I was trying to find was the glass candlestick holders for a DIY because everyone uses this as a base when they're making stuff and I finally found these at the third Dollar Tree we went to so I was going to use this because this was all I could find at the first and second one and then I did end up finding this at the third, so I'm going to use that instead. And I'll show you um, when I get to those items what I'm going to do. 
Okay, I did see these um, Kelly or Jelly Facial Cleanser Super Berry. Um, I thought I would give these a try. I did find um, one. Um, it was. You could have bought it at Amazon or Walmart and sometimes Target. That doesn't smell too bad. It does smell kind of blueberry-ish. It was um, jelly, cherry blossom jelly, shower jelly that I really liked. It was an 8-ounce container. And um, I couldn't find any more of it. I really, really loved it, so I'm really bummed. So I did, thought I'd give this a try. It is pretty thick. But it's not an actual jelly jelly like the cherry blossom stuff that I bought. Okay. Another one of the relaxing um, eucalyptus shower gels. I did find this. Um, rose water smoothie clarifying shampoo two times concentrated free of parabens and dyes it does have the protective thing on it not very strong smelling at all I like my stuff to be super super strongly scented this isn't but I'll still use it I'm finding, um, with it being summer, that um, I have oily skin and oily hair, and my scalp's been um, really oily, too. So I thought the clarifying maybe might help strip the oil. Does anyone else have that problem with an oily scalp? I did find, uh, I was very happy to find this macaroon um, little trinket jar. I got the purple one. It did come in pink and it came in like a turquoise. Um, I only got one because I really see my shelf, top of my dresser over here. I have a couple trinkets and on my dresser here, sorry. <laughs> I also have some trinkets, so I don't have a whole lot of top space to put stuff. Um, some of the tables that I did have, my sons are using right now, so I just got the one, but I thought it was very, very cute. It's very smooth, um, adorable, so I got that one. Okay. My husband and two sons absolutely love this White Rain Men's 3-in-1 Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash. I got two in Cool Ocean Wave, and there is the 20% um, bonus free on both. So that's a total of 18 fluid ounces. Got two of that flavor. Well, scent. My husband always confuses me. He says flavor, and then I start saying it. He found this, he snuck in when I wasn't looking, and found this honey, this cute little honey bear. It's eight ounces premium blended honey flavored syrup by High Five. Corn syrup and honey, because I, I do like to have some of this in tea, like if I'm not feeling good, so he found this, and I wasn't aware that he got that. And then he got two other of the White Rain Men's 3-in-1 Body Wash Shampoo and Conditioner in Fresh Mountain Spring. 18 ounces, wait, 15 ounces. Oh, crap. Huh. This is the same size bottle, but the cool Ocean Wave has says 18, 
and this spring, Fresh, Fresh Mountain Spring, says it's only 15 ounces, so I really don't see, because these are the exact same size, tallness, so I don't know. I'm the one that picked those out for him, because he went to take Will to the uh, Five and Below store, so that's my bad for not picking up on that. I did pick up some of these crunchy rice ro rice rolls, original white rice. Um, I had had these before when um, Costco was selling these in multi-packs, and I really, really liked it. And then when I went back to um, Costco, they didn't have any more. And I noticed some people had been getting these at the Dollar Tree, and this was the first time I actually was able to find any, because I do like these. I ended up getting these um, from the Crafter Square paints, six colors. They're really pretty and vibrant. Um, of course, you get the crappy brush, which doesn't matter. I got this because I, or, I picked up this for Will, my autistic son, to do. He likes to paint. It came with three paints and then another uh, yucky brush, which I'll give him some nice brush. So that's a craft that he's going to do. I bought this little crock dish, um, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, oven safe. I was going to use this as a base for my DIY, which I'll, as soon as I come to the, the one big item, I'll pull the other ones out and show you. So even if I don't use that for um, that DIY, I will still use it. Goodness, I've got all this. Sorry, but I gotta go out of frame for a minute. And I dropped something, and you know it. Alright. I'm getting that big, really big item that I'm gonna do the DIY to show you. Man, that bag was falling apart. Okay. I bought this really pretty, the large plate. The salad plate, which matches. And the bowl. So, these glass candlesticks, I could not find the adhesive that you guys buy from the Dollar Tree that you said is like E6000. Looked at all three Dollar Trees, couldn't find it. So I, when I go to um, Walmart, I'm going to pick up some E6000. But I'm going to make a tray. I'm going to do that like that. And then... like that and then hmm. I had this matching bowl which I don't like that it's too I don't like the look of that so I won't be doing that and I don't like the look of this so I won't be doing this um, I will just have to go back and pick up another glass candlestick holder and then I'll make that whole set. I'll be doing a DIY with that. The bowl can wait to the end because, you know, I could still put trinkets in it right now. But the other two, uh, I'll do those first. Okay, now I got a bunch of candy. 
I was super excited that they had the all cherry, three packs of cherry Pop Rocks. I love Pop Rocks. Cherry's my favorite. And normally, when you get the Pop Rocks, you get a strawberry, you get a um, fruit punch, and I can't remember what the other, or like a watermelon. None of those are my favorite. I'll eat them. You know, use them if I have nothing else, but these are my favorite. So I was very happy to find those. Sorry about that. I, dang it. Just knocked a bunch of stuff over. Okay. Oh, we're going to finish with candy. And then we'll go to the other things. I did find uh, these Blow Pops Blue Raspberry Lollipops. Man, I'm super hot in here. Um, there appears to only be five suckers in this one bag. But I do like these for, like, when I want something sweet, just a quick snack. So I got that. I found these Charm Mini Pops. You get 28 right there. Um, 27. No, oh, it says 28. Yeah, 28. Um, it says three suckers are one serving, so that's not bad. So it has watermelon, blue ras, bubblegum, cherry, grape, orange, strawberry, green apple, tropical fruit, banana, cotton candy, strawberry lemonade, orange cream, birthday cake, root beer float, apple pie, mango, and lime aid. I'm sure it doesn't have all of these in one bag. It's probably just a hit or miss. So those are some of the flavors I might get in there. So I really liked that. One second, guys. Let me turn. I got to get a different fan. Had to get one of my... My husband didn't turn my fan. It's right here up high because he thought that um, dang it I'm seeing everything opposite in the camera there we go Jesus Pete Help me, people. Oh, my Lord. Seeing everything backwards really messes with your head. Sorry about that. I absolutely love these Sweet Tart Ropes, the Cherry Punch. If you've never tried these, you might want to give them a try. They're really, really soft. There are... I think there's eight, because I usually share these with Samuel. I'll eat four, and then I save him the last four. Super, super good. They've got a filling in them. Love these. Again, not so good for me, but hey, a girl has to get her candy on it sometime. I'm sorry, that's the way it is. Speaking of candy, my absolute favorite are lemon heads. I love these lemon heads, so I got this big um, 5.75 ounce, like a movie theater box. Um, lemon head hard candies. Yummo. Love those. Okay, so unless there's more candy in another bag, um, which I don't think there is, that should be done. That should be it with the candy. Now, I've always heard people um, would get these Vaseline sticks. This is Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. They did have an aloe vera. They had this one, and they had the original. Um, I wanted to get the Rosy Lips, and I did open it already in the car because right here, um, my lips, I don't know why. It's not just during the winter, summer. You know, they get a crack in it, which I have right now. It hurts really bad. So I try to apply... Um, lip balm before I go to sleep. I don't know if I um, drool <laughs> in my sleep or what, but I always have that issue. And 
This was really, really nice, and it feels just like butter. Has a little tiny bit of a tint, but I absolutely love it. And it doesn't have a nasty flavor to it. So, in fact, I wouldn't really say it has much of a flavor at all, but still. Um, I will flat out not use a lip balm uh, or a lip, you know, like chapstick if it has a really nasty flavor. I just, I won't. It grosses me out. But this is not bad. I will rebuy this if I can find it. I saw it at one of the three Dollar Trees. Okay, I did see this Freeman Beauty Infusion Purifying In Shower Mask. I won't use this in the shower. I'll do it at night when I'm like playing a video game. I'll put it on, play my video game, and then wash it off. So, um, Serum Infused Facial Mask. mask. Sea Kelp and Probiotics. It's a nice size tube. It's four ounces, so I'm going to try that. Okay, in the school section, I found this really, really pretty and glittery pencil pouch with a zipper. It's kind of scratchy-like feeling on the inside. They have this in many different colors, but I got the purple. And it's got the rings, so you can put it in a notebook. I'm not going to, obviously I'm not going to school. But I like to work on puzzle books. I think I'm missing a bag. I'm going to have to look. Oh, maybe that's that. Um, I like to work on puzzle books. So um, this is a large print. I also like to get the um, See the Difference type books. Let me get out this one really quick. I know I had some smaller ones. Yeah, it's in this. Alrighty. And two of the large print easy to read word finds. So love those and I got me some pretty um, colored ink pens I went with these I usually get a different kind where you usually get like seven or eight pens but this has like the comfort grip on it and it's a um, medium point uh, ballpoint pens advanced assorted ink um, featuring vibrant ink. I'm assuming that it's going to be pink and purple just like the pen. So those are going to go in here and that'll be on top of my word hunts because I, we've got four dogs and a cat. So sometimes they're, they're bad and they steal my pens. So I'm going to start putting my pens in that pencil pouch because it is so pretty. My husband picked this up. He likes all kinds of scary stuff. Uh, Robert the Doll double feature. It is based on a true event. So um, I know someone, one of the girls I watched who lives in New York was able to find the revenge or the curse or something of Robert, which is the third one. <clears throat> we couldn't find it. We only found this. So Paul got that. Paul also loves these cups. With they screw on and off. This says grateful, thankful, and blessed. He got the blue one. And the sweater weather, the burgundy. He said these are perfect. They <clears throat> 16 ounces. He can easily put a can of his soda in this and still have room for ice or whatever. So he really likes that. I found, I was hoping I would find some sort of a back brush. Um, I sleep really hot, despite the fact that we 
have an air conditioner on in our room that's 60 and I have a big fan like standing fan like this hitting my face and a big tabletop fan also blowing me each night I still sleep hot and sweat a lot and my I noticed my back was breaking out and of course I dig at it which doesn't help you know with the nails so I've got some blemishes on my back that I um, when I use my Neutrogena for my acne wash skin um, I can use this to get you know my back so okay now I did pick up some new nail products I picked up this color it's a really pretty um, 918 is the number it's a really pretty kind of um, mint color of nail polish it doesn't have a name it has it's number 918 sassy and chic Sh sassy and chic sorry it is a metallic so I got that that's gonna be really pretty I'm wearing a metallic right now uh, like a um, it's a rose gold and then I've got Hello Kitty nail art and friends on speaking of which this was Sally Hansen the um, the metallic rose gold that I'm wearing it was from last year and it's almost out so I did find this I'm sorry it's not really showing too good I don't quite understand why but it's um, a little bit darker of the rose gold but it looks very close to it it's number 272 this is the LA colors so this is a very very pretty very um, micro glittery polish so I really really like that one and then I found this matte, sassy and chic nail polish. It's 914. It's a very, very pretty, um, very pale, like lilac color. 914. Like I said, it's a cream. It's not, not a metallic and not a glitter. It's a cream. Okay, so then I needed... A top coat because what I've been using right now is Sally Hansen like a nail growing I had some uh, to help grow my nails out and that's what I used as a top coat and it's really really thick so I found this LA colors rapid dry top coat dries quickly to protect nails protect nail colors from chipping so I found that Rapid Dry LA Colors. Then I also found this sac Sassy and Chic Cuticle Oil and Nail Strengthener. I get a lot like everyone else um, dry cuticles and then I'm bad and I kind of pick at them. I know that's so bad. I have a really nice nail kit and sometimes I'll use it to clip them off. But I found this cuticle oil that you can also use on your nails. So I was happy to find that. <clears throat> I found this nice clear glass um, vase, cylinder vase. Um, I'm just going to put like my paint brushes in this because I have yet to find the really neat plastic um, thing that you actually put together. It's a piece up here, a piece down here, and some columns that has a lot of slots to hold like colored pencils and brushes. So for right now, I'm gonna use this and um, just put my brushes in here until I can find something like that. Really bummed, we don't get a lot of the stuff that a lot of the other Dollar Trees get. My husband was trying to talk to one of the guys at Dollar Tree to ask why. He really couldn't answer. He just said, you know, we don't, we don't um, order the stuff 
you know, whoever does the ordering does it and they decide what goes where. So, okay. I found two of these really pretty pink baskets. I'm going to use these. They're super big. I'm going to use this to store my coloring books in. So I got two of them. So I figure when I've got my coloring books down there, if I reach to the top, I can easily sit this on top of it and start putting more stuff in the top, like my colored pencils or something. So I got that. I did find this really cute, and I've seen other people with this. It comes in many colors. I chose pink. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in here yet. Uh, I don't think I'll use it for crafting, but who knows? I may put like my little chapsticks or something in it. I don't know yet, but I've got that. I finally, thank you, found the finger protectors um, for crafting when I use my um, glue gun because I always, always burn my fingers, so I was really happy to find these. I did find this really, really pretty, beautiful jar. I'm going to put candy in it most likely. Um, it has the pretty, like, copper lid. I know everyone... Um, had these a couple months ago, but anyhow, I finally found one, so I picked it up. I picked up three of these really big pink baskets. Not sure yet what I'm going to put in them, but stackable baskets. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Like that. That's how they're stackable. So, not sure yet what I'm going to use it for, but I'm glad that I found it. Some more crafting. I finally found some of these gemstone stickers from Crafter Square. I got two of the blue sheets. These are the ones that have the adhesive on the back. Two pink, real pretty pale pink. I was only able to find one clear. So I got that. Okay, last Dollar Tree item, but then I have a bag of stuff that my husband got me from the five and below found this, The Awakening of Sunshine Girl, a novel. We don't have, at our three Dollar Trees, don't have a really good selection of books. Maybe I'm just not getting there when they first get them and I'm coming towards the end. I don't know. But um, this sounds really interesting. It is... This is a part of a series, so if I like this, I'll have to get some more. This was a $9.99 price tag. Um, the Irresistible Face of the Haunting of Sunshine Girl, a high school junior. So this is a continuing, I'm assuming. Let me look and see. Yes, they have The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, The Sacrifice of Sunshine Girl, and The Awakening of Sunshine Girl. It's this very pretty mint green uh, metallic cover. It says, Sunshine Griffith is a girl who can communicate with ghosts. That's all I needed to read, and I knew that I would like it. <laughs> That's it. So, um, that's what it's about. So, I ended up getting that. Like I said, um, I don't know if this is book three or what. I'll try to go on Amazon and find out but I'll still read it out of order I really don't care um, it's a nice thick novel so 
so I was glad I found that. Okay. Here's the stuff from Five and Below that my husband got me. He got this Kaleidoscope Metallic and Glitter Gel Pens Coloring Kit. It's a nice hard case. It has six glitter pens in it right here. And then it has some coloring pages. You don't have to use the glit metallic glitter pens. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever. Um, I'm sure he paid $5 for this. Okay, here's what it says. Two metallic gel pens and four glitter gel pens. So that's, that's what it is. And then over 30 sheets of coloring pages. So I'm sure he paid $5 for that. Okay, this is something he picked up for himself, but it's really for our YouTube channel, 400 writing prompts. This was $5, the sticker says on the back. This gives you ideas on things you can talk about. For instance, talk about your favorite pair of shoes and why you love them so much. Name something you wish had a remote control that currently does not. If you found yourself in Oz, what would you do different than Dorothy? So it's all kinds, 400 writing prompts. Gives him ideas on um, when he does um, a video for our YouTube channel, some of the things that he can talk about. So he was really excited to find that. And he got me, he knows that I love Haribo. So he got me some Haribo treats, yum, happy cola. This is one of my favorite flavors of gummies. I've never tried this one, watermelon gummies, soft and sweet. This is one of my favorites, the sour gold bears, Haribo. Haribo fruit salad. I'm not sure if I've had this one or not. And I love this one. Sour Streamers Haribo. I love sour gummies. So this is really, really yummy. So that is everything that we got. Like I said, we went to three Dollar Trees. Sorry, when I talk because of the medicine I take, um, my mouth gets really dry, so I'm drinking my Fiji water. Um, three Dollar Tree stores that we went to, and then he took Will to the Five and Below store. So, um, I was happy that I was able to find some new things at the Dollar Tree. Kind of disappointed because our Dollar Tree never adds up to anyone else's. Like our home decor section, non-existent. And all three of them, non-existent. You know, I mean, I didn't think I'd ever find these um, candlesticks. And this is should be like a, a staple at the store all the time. I, I don't know. I was very, very, very pleased to find this set like I said, that I bought for DIY purposes. Very happy because at first I had the bowl and I had the little sour plate, uh, sour plate, salad plate, and that's all I had. So when we went, I found this one yesterday when all, we did all this um, at a different Dollar Tree. So I was super happy that I've got the whole set now. Um, I could do that DIY. However, I can't do it yet until I go to Walmart and get the um, E6000 glue. So, 
Yeah, that's another thing I never can find at our Dollar Trees is the fix-all adhesive that you guys said is just like um, the E6000, but Dollar Tree can never find it. I don't know why. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed watching what I got at the Dollar Tree. We had a lot of fun. It was basically like all-day process yesterday, going to the three Dollar Trees and then going to the five and below, which I didn't get to go in there. I went to the Dollar Tree while my husband took Will and to the five below. So, um, we have two close by our house and then one we had to go um, about a 20 minute drive there to it. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you consider subscribing to our channel. Please like this if you enjoyed it. And um, have a wonderful week, everyone. Talk to you real soon. Bye. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.